Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. That channel is Deb Chanel's Footage World. And we just got a little birdie that told us Andy Cohen is trying to bring Phaedra Parks back. And she's another liar. You remember way back when, sometime last year, people were asking her, would she do another t uh, reality t TV series or this, that, and the third? And she was like, no, no, because she didn't really think that it was an option. Even though a lot of people have been wanting her to come back, her to come back, her to come back. Bless you. But um, it was never in the cards because of Candy Bear. Candy Girl. Yes, candy, candy, candy. Tastes like candy. And y'all know her and Phaedra do not get along. She always liked to bring up that incident where Phaedra had said this, that, and the third about her. Putting out this, that, and the third about her, and it was a, a no-fly zone. And I'm pretty sure Candy had that mixed in to where she could not come back to the show. Or she would not be on the show with her being on the show. So they had to make that choice. And at the time, hey, they saw Candy as a viability. You know, good stop. They'll work around her non-giving self to the channel. But just who she is, you know, they can make her wherever she wants to be or whatnot. But see, Candy's getting really set up nicely. She's getting into different arenas of the acting field. So, it won't be too long. I wouldn't think Candy would be on season 15. If they have a 15 or 16, I don't think she's either going to leave in 15 or 16 if they have two more seasons after this season 14. Because she's solidifying herself to either be a talk show host um, or just getting plain into sitcoms and movie roles. All right. I say that because I see how she moving. And I also do know uh, that she's been illuminated. So she's going to take off like a rocket. Like we've been seeing this year and last year. Okay. Opportunities are just dropping on her. Uh, now, Phaedra might be getting illuminated too. Because she does like wearing those blonde wigs. Okay. And they look disastrous on her. I'm like you got to tone it down baby girl. Like that is just too much. She needs to tone it down. Because that's what Nene was wearing as well. She needs to put some brunette in there. Like her roots. She needs to bleed them into that hair. Because she looks like. I, I don't know. Morticia Adams maybe. The brown version. Whoo child. But like I said. The entertainment field has got to be paying lucrative money where you come out making six or seven figures in your first season or whatever show that you are on. And it takes a while for just normal, everyday people, depending on the career field you chose, to get that type of money. All right? You're going to have to have a doctor or a degree or something. You're going to have to be stomping to make that 100 k You know what I'm saying? Or go even further than that. So... We know Phaedra was just lying her ass off because, like I said at the time, she didn't know if she would be able to get back on a reality show, and especially uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta. But Andy, with his sly dog looking self, trying to look like a silver fox. Anyway, he is moving and shaking behind the scenes. And like I said, Candy did not like the fact that he put her daughter on the spot asking about her daughter's dad. So that's one thing you got to look at. Why would Andy even bring that up? When she know, he should know Candy don't play about her child. And she don't want her child around certain things. And being interviewed by certain people. And he's breaking all the rules when it's coming to that. Watch. It's going to come later on. Some things or not. She might be getting less of episodes or whatever. And she can kind of probably test the waters now. Because she's getting all these opportunities that are more lucrative 
for her than just being on this reality show that she's been on it for ever and a day, okay? Uh, and definitely when they were cleaning the house with all the OGs, they sure did. They didn't discriminate against uh, certain ones. They would go right across the board. <laughs> Everybody was getting cut. And the OGs were getting cut seriously. Okay? They were pretty much not getting in all, what, 10 or 11 episodes. They want to get like six or five. You know they were doing it to Nene. But Nene should have bowed out gracefully. They weren't going to try to keep bringing uh nene big salaries that she was negotiating for because of all what she felt she gave to the project uh but nene started just being too much of a diva i'm like baby girl you don't even have to read lines you don't have to learn scripts you just ab living in a sense okay and then she get the big head like she's a musician or artist music artist that she could sing but she gets to call the shots and demands and all this kind of stuff like girl fall back be blessed that you're able to be on that type of a pedestal because as far as i'm seeing long back when you were just <laughs> not doing too much of anything scamming people with greg you know that whole situation back in the day when y'all first tried y'all self getting on him and all the infractions that both of y'all had to go to go through girl sit your ass down so well <laughs> and so we all know Nene got greedy, and she want more money than what she was giving on the show because she was just getting nitpicking. She didn't want to film with certain people. She didn't want to film at this time. She wanted to do that. You know, she's trying to set her own schedule or when she's going to film and when she's not going to uh, film. And you can't do producers that way. And Candy has a love for producing and working behind the scenes, and she knows it's more lucrative than being you know, on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, but it's like she's scared to do something. You know what I'm saying? She's like she's scared to take that leap of faith or that jump and say, no, nah, I'm finna go on and give it all I got. Only because a lot of burden is put on her. Can it hold down a lot of people in her family? And we do know she holds Todd down too. Instead of making him accountable for him to go get something started without her, without her name, without her notoriety, without any of the pieces falling to where he can't get anything. And I really would. I, I think I hate Todd. I don't hate Todd. I really don't. I don't like how he's been up in his wife's ass all the time because I really feel you both need space from each other to grow because everybody have a growth spurt maybe six months to a year of each time time they get older like you're not going to be doing the same thing you did when you was 53 that you might be like me i'm 54 i didn't i don't do some of the stuff that i did when i was 53 because it's like my mindset is forever changing my environment is all you know changing and you know things are what i can do uh with my body things i can't do with my body you know those things are changing too so we have an outlook every year on what we want to do better for ourselves. You see what I'm saying? So I think Candy knows her time's up. And she's gotten definitely. Uh, she, I mean she's working with Samuel L. Jackson. He's the cream of the cream. You know what I'm saying? He's been in a lot of movies. He's well known in the industry. If her and Todd are able to do this project with him real well. Do you know how many doors will open up for Candy? And, of course, Todd, because she's going to bring him on, because that's the type of person she is, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, Todd needs to start trying to get out from under her and do his own thing. So people can recognize his contributions to whatever he's doing the, uh, uh, with, the, with the industry, you see what I'm saying? Uh, it's almost like an Ike and Tina Turner situation, it's just... Todd is not beating on her. You know, it's like I feel in some way, some kind of way because Tina out there performing and everybody shouting, Tina, Tina, Tina. Not I, I, I. You know what I'm saying? It's like he's getting to the point where it's bothering him, where he got to speak on it. Uh oh, speak on it. You know how she does it. <laughs> but I'm like, Todd, take a tranquilizer. Go get some therapy. You know, be a man. And, you know, basically what I'm saying, be a man. Because back in the day, let's think about it now. Your dad was out there working. Your mom was at home being a homemaker, raising the kids, you know, making sure we were picture perfect or uh, the perfect family, the walls. You know, men went out there and worked. Okay, they didn't depend on their wives. They needed their wives to keep the home fires burning. You know what I'm saying? 
But then I know women's lib came up and we was like, oh, woman can do everything. Hear her roar. I understand that too. But it really feels and it seems like Candace just spoon feeding him, which she ought to give him tough love, tell him to get the hell out from under her. Let him, you know, even if she had to fund him a little bit in there, get a production company. That's what you were doing when I met you. You were working behind the scenes with Real Housewives of Atlanta doing your producing shit. We needed you to get that hat back on. Because while I'm doing this, you need to be doing that. And, you know, I'll, you, they have this whole thing of working together. And sometimes I'm, I'm telling you, spouses cannot work together. It just doesn't make. Because you don't have a time away from them. You don't have space where you can just have your time. Be in love with yourself and what you're doing. And just be mesmerized about how well, you know, Candy is uh, flourishing. Without feeling some kind of way that she's taking away her shine from her husband. It was like, uh-uh, nope, you don't need to work with your partner. Mm, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> it really just doesn't work. You can shower them with all the gifts and, uh, and all the materialistic things. But sometimes... And I know this for a fact because I've worked with my family before. I've had several businesses. So I'm like, mm-mm. I tell everybody in a hot flash of a minute, who you going in business with? Because, see, family members don't know when to shut up and listen. When you're telling them what to do, but you're younger than them. You see what I'm saying? It's the young, it's the age difference. It's the experience difference. It's the old versus the new, the younger and the, uh, I mean, the uh, older and the younger. It's just so many dynamics you have to go through when you're working with family. And they damn talk too much, too. You know what I'm saying? They just talk too much. They don't want to come to work when they need to be coming to work. They want to say, I got to do this. I got to do this. It's like, wait a minute now. We're trying to get this business off the ground. Are you passionate like me about this business? Because it seems like you're, you're getting unimpassionated about it, okay? What's going on? Oh, I, I, I share too much. <laughs> Hell, I was talking about myself. Woo! And my family members. So, but anybody that can identify what I'm talking about, just put a one in the chat. Okay? Let, let me know. I'm not just feeling myself over here. All right. But yeah, honey, Andy. Mm-hmm. And it's probably showing her people, you know, singing Candy's praises so he can get her the hell off of Real Housewives of Atlanta and he can bring Miss Phaedra back. Now, we do know she's on good standing with them from being away from the show for so long. And like things do, things change, people change, and you have to give them the benefit of the doubt to redeem themselves. And we all know Phaedra don't set out long enough. But see, lying as Phaedra, she's, instead of her saying, yeah, I want to come back out, you sure do. I want to use this as my career to further me a little further because I'm tired of doing my professional job. I just want to be doing nonsense and get paid well for it. You know what I'm saying? Who wouldn't want to do that other than sacrificing their soul, of course, you know. But... You know, Phaedra's just lying, just like all of them lie. They tell me, ooh, I, I could be doing this, so I, I can do this. No, you need that steady income to come in to feed and fund your other projects that you're working on outside of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. I don't know how many times I got to keep telling people that. Like, that, that like I get to fussing with. Well, I don't get to fussing with y'all no more or anybody I'm talking to in person about, you know, whether a person really needs this source of income and whether they don't and you have people like they don't need that they got this that and the third well how do you think how, that this that and the third is being funneled you know somebody's having a deficit in one of those businesses and if you're in the restaurant business you're gonna have that especially with covid out there you see how i got shut down then other things are gonna need uh materials to be replenished you know like if you got a restaurant you got to replace silverware you got to replace the furniture in there for a period of time you got to change the carpet Oh, you got to keep up with so much inspection. So it's a lot. So you're going to need that one single unit of resource that you can funnel back into all of your projects. So please remember that when you're on a big scale and you're thinking bigger, the dollars and stuff, because that's what it is. You've got to have somebody out there to fund your passion of what you want to do as an entrepreneur. But anyway, because uh, I had to learn that myself, so I do know what I'm talking about. But anyway, uh, we're going to go into the store and see my Andy. Andy trying to get Phaedra back. But we know she don't got her back on real. What is the ultimate girls trip? Real Housewives ultimate girls trip? Whatever it is. 
So we saying he's opening back up the door. He's not listening to Candy or any of her woes or whatever. Because he sees potential of her leaving as well. Not that they're pushing her out, forcing her out. It's just her time is up. And they need ratings. They need you to act a fool on this show. Even if you may not act a fool in real life, in real person. Or your, you know, your real life that you exist in. That's what drives Hollywood. Only the people that really want to be involved with it, get illuminated and all that stuff, are going to be the true winners out there. Because they have to do in and everything to stay in that position that they so much fondly want. You see what I'm saying? Everything is given free will to what you will put yourself into. You have a choice. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and that's between good and evil as well. But... Um, I don't understand Phaedra. I'm telling you. I, and maybe it's just she's worn out as well. I can be think that's a plausible idea of her wanting to be in the entertainment business. She don't want to study to go back and, and, and get her credits or do electives to keep her professional licenses, you know, insured as well as, you know, certified. Because you have to go so many years. You have to take so many courses to get recertified in the professional that you're in. And with her being a lawyer, yeah, she's going to have to do those uh, CEU classes or whatever. Um, and then she's still going to have to pay for her license if she wants to keep it uh, up to date. And she wants to practice again one day. So, I mean, she, you know, she got the lawyer license. She got the... Uh, mortuary license, you know, I'm <laughs> like, good lord, honey. So, she's saying to hell with her careers that she went to school for. I'm finna jump into this entertainment mess, okay? And so, she made her decision. Uh, cause I knew she was fake, fraudulent, full of fuckery and foolishness when she set up there and told her interviewer last year and the year before that that, oh no, she didn't spend time with her boy, she need to do this, that, and the third. Now, her ass over in Dubai. Making a, a cameo appearance to see how things would go there. She's talking about buying a house, so she said she had a house out there. So she grows sea moss and some other shit she was saying. It didn't make no sense. Like Sheree and her joggers. Where the hell are they? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? September, spring, fall. We we don't know. Okay, we we really don't have a destinated point. But she do have that trademark. She by Sheree. No fashions. Okay, but anyway, we go to this article. That was written by Brenda Alexander. It was from Yahoo.com. It is stating as, uh, and we got to give Shadow and Act a little shout out too. Because I guess they're uh, both of the same people. Just different names or whatnot. Same entity, different names. Um, she titled her article, Phaedra Parts, on how Andy Cohen got her to return to Housewives franchise. And who she's happy for on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay, Andy Cohen got Deja Park is back in the Housewives franchise. However, she's not on the Real Housewives of Atlanta this time. You see how you, you see what I'm saying? Not this time. So when you they phrase something, some shit like that, that means something coming up later on, whether it's this year, next year, or you know what's this? Twenty second to might be 2024 when we got to do the election day with the president. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They will have uh her behind right back up there where she left singing her song. Okay. But that wasn't in the article. That was my sidebar. It says, this time she's participating in the second mashup of Ultimate Girls Trip on Peacock alongside a few other all-stars. Okay. Parks and her co-stars are relaxing at Dorinda's Medley's Bluestone Manor for eight days as opposed to the first cast in the tropical island of the Turks and Caicos. The series takes on a trip down memory lane as the ladies indulge in the lush countryside of the Berkshires with top-notch luxury, hilarious escapades, and non-stopping drama. See, Dorinda Medley's, they're going to stay at her manor, meaning her house. See what I'm saying? Cream of the cream, crop of the crop, cream de la cream. They going to be paying her some money to host those women staying at her house. You can best but you can best believe it, sugar. You can best believe that. Now, I, I, I like that. Get paid and then I get paid on the top and the back. Okay. Oh, Lord. Who's going to do your thing, Mr. Dorinda Medley? But anyway, uh, going back to the article, it said ahead of the show's premiere, Shadow and Act Unscripted 
had the chance to speak with the Real Housewives of Atlanta alum and her experience on the show. She also dished on her dating life, motherhood, her former castmates, and more. She was hesitant to do the show because of the drama from her time on Real Housewives of Atlanta, but was convinced by Bravo Huncho Andy Cohen. Parks hasn't been on Bravo since exiting the series following the explosive season 9 reunion on Roa. She made it clear she had no interest in returning to the franchise after being called by Cohen. When after being called by Cohen, she decided to give the matchup a try. I'm like, baby, you, you how you were going out here? You were trying to be at a part of a, a modeling agency. You were just staying uh, in the news. You were making TikTok videos. You were making Instagram videos. You were making sure your name is still being out there because you knew, you knew. And you probably had some inside privy information from Andy Cohen. Uh, that to keep doing what you're doing and we're still looking at you. And I'm telling you, girl, you will be back. You see what I'm saying? He probably was saying that to her and she was blowing up her head. But hopefully she wanted to make the same mistake again that she did to got her in that shit the first time. And then hopefully she won't think she's so that like Nene, that she get her ass canceled again as well. So she has two things she got to learn quick, fast, and hurry prior to getting on this show as a serious and, and permanent castmate, okay? But going back to the article, it said, I did not know who would be on the show because Andy obviously told me when he called me because I was like, I'm not going to sign up for this or anything, especially not with anybody, she told us. But I really clicked with everyone. I didn't have a bad experience with any of the ladies. It was really a really good experience compared to other experiences I've had on other reality series. But after the show, I really bonded on a real close level and particularly with Brandy Glanville, really with Dorinda. Probably really with Jill Zarin too. But prior to the show, me and Eva Marcel, we've known each other for almost two decades. It's not, if not two decades. So we're already our, so we're already our, wait a minute. So we've already, our families have known each other for the years. So that um, relationship was well established prior to the show. That self-proclaimed Southern Belle doesn't understand why she's been given the title as the shadiest housewife from all the franchises, but amidst there's some drama on Girls Trip. Parks is known for her wit, one-liners, and ability to escape an apology. Despite such, she insists she doesn't mean any harm with her shade, regardless, she says, the mashup will be entertaining. What always interests me, well, what always interested me, What's always interesting to me, people always say I'm the queen of shade, but now I'm just really telling the truth and people think this is shady, she said with a shrug. I'm probably being shady at times, but I just see it as being the truth. This show is quintessential classic housewives because you see the tears, the crazy fights, the fallouts, the makeups, and the drunk foolishness. You know everything from the sexual overtones to the madness. It is classic Housewives. Unlike the traditional Housewives shows, we can actually break the fourth wall and talk about what's happening in real life, in real life, in real time, so that makes it good. Parts has been asked to return to reality television in any capacity, aside from appearing on Weez TV Marriage Boot Camp. She's been focused on her multiple careers and motherhood. Uh, but since ending filming the Housewives mess up, she says she and Brandy Glanville are considering a dating series. As for what she looks for in a man, Parks has a long list. She's got to be easy. He's got to be easy on the, okay, eyes, I guess. He's got to be intellectual sound because I like to have a conversation with you. Uh, he's got to be socially savvy and he also has to have a little change about himself. I really don't want to be a preacher, but you got to have a spiritual life. Uh, he's got to like kids, she said. The lawyer turned mortuary scientist says she doesn't tune in to Roa, but she's happy that Marlo Hampton is a full-time housewife. I recommended Marlo for the show, she told us. So now I'm very happy for Marlo. I love Marlo. Marlo's very entertaining. I watched Marlo's growth, and so I'm excited for Marlo. Okay, so that was the housewife that they were talking about initially that she was fond of. And she felt that they deserved that peach. 
And I, I think Marla deserved a peach as well. You know, she's been a friend forever. Why not bring her on as a cast member? Okay, she knows all the ladies. She knows them ins and outs. She knows what frustrates them. She knows what gets them to settle down. So, yes, yeah, she should have been um, technically before they even brought Drew up there. She should have been a housewife. Going further with Shamari DeVoe or Eva, they could have put Marlo uh, as a housewife but okay i understand you can't have two giants a uh, beast in the room and that's her and nini so <laughs> they're gonna probably fall out as well because nini fall out with everybody trying to take her shine if she feels threatened about their position and how they're playing the game okay but that's all i got for this video guys hope y'all like it love it got it more uh andy cohen is siding up <laughs> with bringing Phaedra back and they probably can't convince Candy to get the hell on and go be a producer or something to that degree setting her up real well by giving her connections them uh giving her great recommendations and probably telling her new job opportunities opportunities that are coming up because I'm telling you Candy don't want to be on Real Housewives of Atlanta but she's scared to make that jump that's just my opinion that's how I view view it um, but she's going to have to take a chance. She's going to have to be in her faith and know that, hey, I can do anything that I put my mind to. And like I said, she's already doing it. It's just she's not getting paid for it yet. Now, Candace about that bag. You know what I'm saying? She's a hoe. She knows she's a hoe. But she get those bags right after the show. Yeah, after the show, honey. Candy be racking it up. Racking it up. Stacking it up. Breaking it up. Okay. I got a little crazy on that one. But anyway. So, uh, yeah, uh, I really wish she do go on and, and do more. And then she can probably spend a lot more time with her kids as well. Uh, but it just is what it is. You'll see it coming. It, it be, uh, what do you call it, fostering and flourishing to have those avenues open where she has to make a choice. You either give this or you do that. And with her wanting to be in the production field and, you know, in the background making money, that sick, same type of money versus what she made now she's probably gonna see an increase on the first selection which is behind the scenes working and then she's gonna be okay to let that go because like i said i think it's just fear that um candy knows she's the livelihood of so many people in her family and she's pretty much top-notch dog in her own family within her and todd's relationship and he hates it i know he do he hates it, but if the shoe was on the other foot, Todd would be out here making that money. He'll be telling her, well, baby, I work so you don't have to work. You know, the whole sexist thing where you take care of the kids, the house, and I'm going to do this business and stuff. I'm going to be going taking trips, you know, outside of the home, you know, going, traveling around the world, just that and the third. <laughs> but that's not Todd's life. I'm sure to sure that's what he wants to happen sooner rather than later but he knew what he was signing up for when he said i do okay but that's all i got for this particular video guys and i'll see y'all on the next one Bye bye